When I practice or play the game, the emotions I feel today is something that I felt as a kid too. And I think it's the emotions that helped us get to here. We were really shy when we grew up. You were a little more shy. <laughs> <laughs> Having your brother with you all the time, you were always on the same page. Yeah. You know, when it came to homework or school, friends. Same mind. So, same so mind, if you yeah. start a sentence, I knew what you're going to say so I could finish it. Yeah. We still <laughs> do that. Oh, nice. <laughs> right still <on>. got it. <laughs> I'm Henrik Lundqvist, and this is My Beginnings. Beginnings is presented by Melrose Credit Union. Every summer, ever since I moved to New York, I've spent here in Gothenburg. For the past uh, 16 years, I've been here. During the season, you play under a lot of pressure, and uh, a lot of days you're stressed, and it's hard to relax. I think it's important that you get a break physically and mentally, be able to come back with new energy. and. And obviously coming back home and see friends and family, is, that's the most important thing. I wanted to be a hockey player. I did practice my signature a lot. The look of it, but it doesn't look like that at all today, so I don't know. I guess it was a waste of time, but... <laughs> But every time you did it, you know, you start dreaming, thinking about what if. I wonder if that's possible or stuff like that. So this is, uh, this is where I skate every summer. When I, as a 16-year-old, moved here, you know, it was a big step in my career. Oh, <laughs> Biggest sport here is soccer. Uh, the national team in hockey is big, but it's still, you can't, you can't compare it to Canada, where hockey is, uh, I mean, everything. Growing up, late 80s, every time Sweden played in the World Championships, uh, I mean, it was the best time of the year because that was pretty much the only time I got to watch hockey. Uh, and right after each game, we went out on the street playing and pretended to be the, the Swedish national team. Well, I do remember my first, first couple of times playing. The equipment was way too big, it was way too heavy. Uh, I got scored on way too many times, but uh, I really enjoyed it. You know, it was a lot of fun, and I could tell early on that it was something I wanted to do. When I started, I was Peter Lindmark. He was a great goalie here in Sweden. That turned into uh, Patrick Roy, Dominic Hasek. I just love the game, the intensity out there. Obviously, when you start, you think about different things, and, and then as you grow up, the game changed, and the way you think about the game changed, but it was still a lot of fun to go out there. You know, we lived in a small town, 1,500 people, and now you walk into a building with 12,000 people, you're screaming, cheering, oh. to see it live. There's just so much to take in. He would like to steal that. I am taking you on a tour in Ore village. 
and it was here that Henrik grew up. A really small town of uh, 1,200 people, maybe. Summertime. Wintertime was a different story. A lot of tourists came there to, to ski. <laughs> Skolan. För här har en gång i tiden en väldigt duktig hockeymålvakt gått skolan. Ja, vad heter han då? Henrik heter han. Och så här såg Henrik ut när han gick här. Och nu bor han i USA och spelar hockey i New York Rangers. Kommer du ihåg det? Most of the children here are skiers in the winter time. Henrik's father was, was uh, founder of the ski school in Norge. And, and, and maybe most of people thought then that Henrik and Joel would be skiers. I skied. I don't know if I was a big skier. We started to ski really early. I don't think I had much talent, but uh, I did. I did okay. Not more than okay. Henrik and Joel had decided that they are going to be hockey stars, even from the very beginning. Here you have the Oral Beach. And I think maybe here was some of the places where Henrik and Ewell made their first skates on the ice. You can find them with a hockey stick in their hand, even as kids, uh, by a small goal. They were down on the lake on the ice and uh, really had fun doing it. We loved the game from early on and we played a lot in the street, outside the house, on, on lakes and stuff when we grew up. They started here at the daycare when they were between two and three years old. Henrik and Joel, they were very tight. It was the best to grow up and have your best buddy around all the time. Uh, we did everything together. Always played on the same team, we did the same sports, had the same friends. When we looked at each other growing up, we kind of saw a re reflection of, of yourself. We made this little sand box into a hockey rink. This is the sandbox where Henrik and his brother started their career in hockey. Every break we had, we were on that ice. And we had one goal here and one goal there. Small goals, homemade. It was my first Madison Square Garden. Now we are uh, closing up to where Henrik lived as a youngster. That is Henrik's house here. I know Henrik's and Joel's parents, Peter and Eva Lundqvist. They were very good parents. My parents, it's impressive to see how much time and effort they put in to live our dream. The big thing for us, not once did we feel pushed in any direction. You know, it was always supportive. That, that comes a long way when, when you're a kid and you try to improve and follow your dreams. I think going to a first hockey game, uh, I think we're five years old. I don't have that many memories being five years old, but that trip, I remember so many things. Yeah. I think this building, starting as a kid, it's been an inspiration. You know, sitting up there watching made me realize what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be, play hockey. I wanted to play for, for Londa. It was definitely an inspiration early on. This is the spot. <laughs> yeah. Feels like yesterday, almost. You know, it definitely makes you realize um, a lot of things have happened since I lived up in RA and play hockey in, in the lake <laughs> up there. <laughs> Today it's pretty quiet, but back then it was not quiet. You know, 
know, we lived in a small town, 1,500 people, and now you walk into a building with 12,000 people. You're screaming, cheering, oh. to see it live. There's just so much to take in. We were blown away. Your comment was, oh my, this is bigger than the supermarket in Aura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my first reaction. Coming to Gothenburg, uh, never seen hockey live like that. It was unbelievable. And from that day, we, we became fans of Fralanda. And, you know, I think our dream was one day to play here. When being asked as kids, eight years of age, what do you want to become when you grow up? And both of them looked at me and said, oh, we're going to be professional hockey players. We must say that they've managed to keep the course straight. In Yerpen, we have the indoor skating. There, the real hockey started. I was about eight years old. They built the rink. Before that, it was just a lake in RA or uh, at the school. It was to this building, Ewell and Henrik longed every day to come training with us. I uh, have the intention to help another man to coach the guys. But he left me on the ice <laughs> and there I was standing and I had nothing other to do than to train them. That was how it started for me to be a hockey coach. I remember the first practice. It was the first time they opened the rink. We were like 20, 20 guys there. The coach asked us uh, who want to be the goalie. You will grab Hendrik's arm up in there and uh, yeah, we have a goalie here. Hendrik don't say anything. That's how it started. We were pretty shy when we grew up, so we had to help each other to, to take some decisions. The first year was tough. <laughs> well, there was a lot of goals against the first two games, that's for sure. 12 to two and then 19 nothing. That was a long way from the Vesna Trophy, 30 goals in two games. But within two years, we were beating those teams, so we did move in the right direction and we started to play a lot better. After a while, you can tell he had a talent for, for being a goalie. One special moment, we're standing over there. The older guys take one puck each and uh, they're starting shooting. It was uh, easy shots in the beginning. And uh, after a while, they, they shoot really hard. And uh, some pucks hit him on the head, on the chest, but he don't complain, never. <laughs> All the guys were shooting at him, and it's like, holy oh, this guy is he's good. Leaving home, leaving your parents at 16, and move to a big city, that was the first year where you felt like we're doing this to try to, try to make it. Yeah. Just wanted to wish everybody a happy holiday and a happy new year. When we were 15, Prolanda called us and yeah. asked us if we wanted to come here and play for them, go to high school here. They didn't have to ask us twice. No. We were like already <laughs> in the car, let's go mom and dad. Leaving home, leaving your parents, 16, move to a big city. That was the first year where you felt like, okay, we're doing this. We're doing this to try to make it. Yeah. See if we can find a parking spot. Yeah, it's my old street. Got the mansion in here. <laughs> oh, it was a good apartment, good first apartment. Me and my brother. The days were pretty long. You went to school in the morning, three, four o'clock when you were done with school. You walked across the street, you ate, and then you practiced. You spent a lot of time at school and at the rink. You didn't spend that much time at home, actually. I recognize that place. It looks a little different. I ordered a lot of good pizzas from that place. Pizzeria Roma. Hey, son. We bought the high, precis. 
Ja, vi handlar många pizzor här kan jag säga. Och jag handlar många pizzor. Joel... Jag sa, jag sa, de, de pratar om att man har köpt en pizza. Jag gör <laughs> det. <laughs> It was such a big thing to go and play for Frölunda. That dealing with the city and being in, in a big city. It wasn't really a factor. It was just something that you added on top of playing for Frölunda's. I think this building, growing up, my dream was always to play here, play for my country. You know, this is 1990. We don't have the internet. The, the access of NHL here was not very big, so it was hard to dream about something you didn't really see. I played two years as a junior player, and they gave me an opportunity to play for the pro team. It started off really well, but then they brought in a, a guy from North America, and, and I had to play on a Division II team. And I went through a really tough time, and, and I kind of lost my passion a little bit for the game. I'm, at this point, I'm 18 years old. You know, I asked my parents and my brother. I knew the answer, but I still asked them, is this really what I wanted to do? And they said, of course, this is you, and this is what you've been wanting to do your entire life. It made me realize where my head needed to be. We won two championships here, both in overtime. I remember we scoring the goal and throwing my gloves and helmet and everybody went nuts in here. Yeah, that, that's a great memory. Doing it in New York would be like that times 15. <laughs> One of my most special nights here, I must say, was coming here with the Rangers a couple years ago. To walk out here and feel that support from the crowd, you know, it was it was surreal. It was it was amazing, and um, it also made you realize how much work you put into this. Coming to New York, you know, you left something where. You know, you had your the support, you had your friends and family and, and a really good life. But now it was about accepting this new challenge. Welcome to the 2000 National Hockey League Entry Draft. Draft day was very interesting. I mean, I guess a day, but it was two days. Two days. Rick DiPietro. Marion Gaborik. We talked about it. I remember this going into the draft. It would be kind of cool to play on the same team, but then again, we were not in the position to, to say we wanted to play on the same team. I was, of course, very nervous. I was drafted in the third round. Player after player got picked, and so I was sitting there, and it was like, at one point, it's like, I wonder if I'm going to get drafted at all. Yeah. And the tough part, we were like, Five, six Swedish players and all, at least. The Boston Bruins select Lars Janssen. And they're all just sitting there waiting for, for me to get picked so they could all leave. So everyone could leave, yeah. But then, when I got picked by New York, there was mixed feelings. It, I was happy and relieved that I got picked. But at the same time, I felt a feeling of like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna show them that I'm, I'm better than a seventh round <laughs> pick. That was my feeling too, going home, but. I kept that for myself a little bit. That's the first time I say that. <laughs> Let's see. First time I went to New York, I was a lot to take in. <laughs> I remember just looking at all the tall buildings and I do remember walking into the garden there for the first time and I watched the game. It's inspiring. You know, it, it gives you energy and it gives you motivation to work harder and try to reach that level. My first trip to New York, that was the first time I spent more than a week apart from you uh, in 23 years. So obviously that was a big step. Coming to New York, you know, you left something where, you know, you had your, the support, you had your friends and family and, 
and a really good life. But now it was about accepting this new challenge. It's only his on the other side of the world playing for the Rangers. It's a weird feeling and uh, I was really nervous for him how everything would turn out. John Madden to the net. Shoot, save, one quiz. He's got the puck. I remember my first couple games. Four to one and the first NHL win for Hendrik Lundqvist. My first home game was also my first win in the NHL, and it was just a very special moment. I remember the crowd was screaming my name. They're showing me that kind of support right away and made me feel welcome. Gomez to the net, save off the chest of one twist. It's a tough place to play, and everybody told me that, but at the same time, there's no better place to play when you do well. So as long as you see that challenge and see it as a good thing, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Coming back home, you start thinking about the people that helped you back here. It's a new life in New York, but everyone back here, they still support you. This become a great goal and a great character for the league, I think, in NHL. It's been so many years now since we played together. When you see him on the ice, you can't really tell you he's my brother. My scattering report on Henrik Lundqvist here in Gothenburg looks solid. <laughs> Moves really well in net, uh, quick gloves. So uh, I hope the Rangers will make it all the way next year. Down the middle, Hoffman, good save by Lundqvist of beauty. When I was 22, 23, I was thinking about, I wonder how, how I would feel when I'm 30 or 32. Now I'm 32 and I have it. I still have it. I'm, you know, I go out on the ice. I want to be better. I, I want to compete. I want to win. Center, save by Lundqvist. Great chance on oh, another one. And sprawling was Lundqvist. And I feel it as much as I did 10 years ago. The day I don't feel that passion, I think it's time to do something else. <laughs> 